Hey everyone, Dave here, and welcome to The Foglands Overview. Those Tuesday releases really break my schedule, like, usually it's because they release at the same time on PSVR 2, so that's why it's kind of like out of the routine, and it's kind of a last throw at this year's Halloween period, so... I mean, I have no choice but to do it. <laughs> So The Foglands is an action shooter roguelike game where as an underground runner you set on an adventure to the fog invested world where the danger is lurking every corner up until you reach the end of your path. Surprisingly there's not much storyline going on, it's just that there's some western horror scenario going on though it doesn't specifically say what's the point or what's the even goal. They technically say you have to escape the fog before it swallows you but you enter it first so you're just asking for trouble at this point. With the cards and the mechanics it kind of resembles the light brigade. I do like there's some interactivity between you and the monsters, the environment as well. It doesn't feel like an empty shooter where you just travel along and shoot targets wave after wave, rinse and repeat. I do wonder what's the situation with the upgrades and this roguelike like kind of longevity because not every game in that genre pulls through before being bored after like two hours. From the trailers and concepts it seems pretty cute. I essentially just learned it today that it's releasing, that's why I'm like not very much going into detail with it, but the gameplay is all where it unveils at the end of the day. <laughs> Let's go to the Foglands. You ever smelled your palms after touching iron? A copper? It hits you like a wall down there. That stale, clammy air, as if the metal itself was rotting. Down! Up here! Howdy, partner. I'm glad this whole course washed up here. You know how things move around in the fall. And it looks like you can head to the... Guess that'd be your left if you want some practice running the course. Or head to the right to get right to the elevator to the mines. I mean, I will take a tutorial any day. What the hell? Well, also with the locomotion and stuff, seems fine to me. I mean, the graphics are a little bit underwhelming. Like very sharp edges and not much detail going on really. The model also okayish. Whoa, that's quite the drop. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> should have warned you about that. No turning back now. No way out the ford. Right. <laughs> what do you mean, big drop? I remember going through this myself when I was a young. First part's all basic agility. Should be no problem for a young man like you. I need to crouch in real life and in game. <laughs> Why is this appearing? Jesus. This is very heavy auto aim, but no physics really nice work, kid. uh marion it's all boarded up you got two fists don't you the hell is going on with the performance Some small UI. 
I mean, even the picking is not cool. It's just point and click. And it doesn't matter how strong you throw, it's just almost instant. set of shooting irons down there. Go ahead and pick one up. Still ain't real accustomed to these things. I brought lots of ammo with me, so don't worry if you run out. We're armed to the teeth. Two shots so far and frame skipping every single time. What is going on with the frames? Like, ever like bigger action is just drop, drop, drop. <laughs> I can't imagine what's gonna be in the real gameplay. It's kind of hard to aim. in case you need it. Usually I'd give the talk about trigger discipline, but they're a bit strapped for time. Now, Ursa's the engineer, not me, but making doors rely on electric fuses just don't seem too wise. But hey, I didn't make them. Toss that there fuse into the fuse box above the door. A lot of doors like this are out there, so better practice. <laughs> Kind of unusual, but okay. <laughs> Marianne? Just one more time. What are we what are we looking for exactly? Go ahead and grab that there lantern and gun. If you don't got one already, and scout up ahead. Lifts on the other side of these rocks. I've got an idea. Got it. I'm gonna take two guns. I can't reload them at the same time though. So what's going on? What is happening? I didn't see that. I definitely didn't see that. Are you sure?
This is very wonky, like... I barely can pass through anything. Everything okay? No sign of life yet. If we're lucky, we might have caught it while it's... Marion? Marion! Marion, seriously? Where are you? <laughs> this letter does nothing. <laughs> oh no. By in your time of need, my friend. Saw what happened back there. That worm's a nasty piece of work, but it ain't unkillable. I see great potential in you. Could become a real legend in them foglands. With a little help from me, of course. And I knew from the look in that devil's eye. You already knew what would happen next. So I'm gonna help you make it happen. See, this little train and I saved your life just now. Should misfortune find you on your way to kill that worm, I'll make sure we pick you up before the reaper comes knocking. At least until that worm's dead. Then I gotta revoke your ticket. Folks up top wouldn't like it if I gave out immortality as a charity, now would they? What's in it for you, anyway? I don't like it. But you got more things to worry about. This worm's shaking the structural integrity of your whole settlement, ain't it? But what if I say no? Oh, you just worry about killing that thing, hmm? It's a win-win for us both. <laughs> Fine, like... Now, what do you say? You're an honest man of your word like me, ain't you? We can consider this a legally binding verbal agreement, don't you think? Don't have much of a choice here, do I? Guess I say yes. Now, you're gonna tell me. It's been wonderful having you as a passenger today, Jim. But I think your stop's coming up. Hey! Jesus, he's just spinning me around and then... Ah, oh, it's so bad. Ow, my head. I said I'd keep you from dying, kid. I didn't say it was going to be painless. Up before everyone. Hiya. Oh, well, that was right quick. I didn't even hear you come in. Yeah, uh. Tell Marion to stop dragging his feet. I made us a cake to celebrate. Ain't even cooled yet, so. I ain't asked it, but. I could tell she knew. Jim? Where's Marion? And when I told her about the worm. Jim, what? I know, I know. I'm... I'm gonna do something. We gotta. We had the biggest quake yet while you were out. It must have been when that thing... You know, make matters worse. The lift y'all took on the way down's been squished to the size of a drinking straw. So, you'll have to take the long way around next time, I reckon. Okay, 
That's okay. Don't worry, Ursa. We can do this. Good. Because I think we have to. Now, let me know uh, what you want and I'll fix it on up for you. What am I gonna do with that cake? Cake? Well, I don't think we can make her use the guns. Then we'll have like tools, upgrades, all of that. I guess let's just go because it's not getting any better for some reason. This is your first solo trip out, right? I guess so. No sweat. Remember, if you need any advice or have questions about something, I'm right in your ear. Over. The better question is why it's so rough. My god, I just can't. I'm on quest 3. This should not be happening. It's just a garbage optimization or something. I mean, the soundtrack is very westerny. <laughs> oh wow, and the timer is already going off. <sighs> I'll just be walking around and talking, I suppose. I don't necessarily like anything, really. <laughs> I think this is just so rough in terms of the performance, gameplay, graphics, not many good things are going on here. And then you're loading in like barely anything happened. Okay, I don't have time for you, mate. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> you should have seen your face. What are you? I'm a scrap collector and a trader too. Come inside and see what I got, friend. Anyways, this is not it for me. It's very embarrassing at this point in the game to release something that is so pretty bad all across the board. Like, I'm very much surprised this is now on the store, even on PC VR too. Like, I imagine people are a little bit angry there. <laughs> I'll give them that the concept is fairly unique with the theme and the uh, environments and just like, you know... You troll! <laughs> Either way, this needs to be heavily polished in every aspect, pretty much, of the project. There's like no excuse, especially that I'm on Quest 3. Everything should be working seamlessly and with the mechanics and features, this does not feel like a game for 2023 at all. <laughs>